everyone. Um, we are sponsoring the lunch, so stay with me. We asked for Argentine barbecue with wine. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know what we're going to get, but uh, yes, today I'm going to share two key learnings that we, we learned uh, in these almost four years of bringing the Canadian product into the Latin American market. Okay, a little bit about us, who we are. So we are a Toronto-based iPad point of sales. We launched in 2011. Right now, we have around 12,000 restaurants working with us. Using more than 20,000 iPads, we are the number one, number one restaurant point of sale in 38 countries. We have more than 250 employees distributed from UK, Canada, the States, Mexico, and hopefully Colombia. We have well, we run around $6 billion of transactions every year in our system. So how did this start? 2015, myself started to work at Touch Bistro, and I didn't start selling the year that I started. And I will tell you a little bit later why. 2016, we hit our first 50 paid customers, and we launched our relationship with iShop. iShop is an API, it's an Apple premium reseller. It's like an Apple store, but it's managed by a different company, so you can find our solution in more than 67 locations around Mexico. In 2017, we hit our threshold of 150 paid customers. We hire our first local sales rep. We open our beautiful office in Mexico in front of the angel. I don't know if anyone from Mexico will, will understand that. And we soft enter the Colombian market with a pilot with Pro Bogota and Apple. We basically give the solution to, to 10 restaurants that they never have a solution. And um, we see the results after a year. Now we are a team of 11, distributed in Mexico, Colombia, and Canada. And we launch officially our product in Colombia. We're looking to bring more than 800 new customers this year, only from Mexico and Colombia. So what do we learn? Number one, become part of the local community. Don't just adapt your sales strategy. That's not going to work. And number two, find the right partners. This is super important. Immersion. And I will tell you a little bit of a story. When I'm telling you to become part of the community, I will never forget when I scheduled my first meeting with the restaurant owner, 12, in a beautiful restaurant in Polanco area, and he offered me a Mexican cocktail. I was like, okay, I will try. It's called Banderita, it's tequila. 3 p.m., I was hugging the owner, we were drinking tequila, it was fantastic, but, but what do I learn? I understand how he managed his business. I understand the issues that he's having. I understand all the problems that the industry is having. So when I say immersion, you need to understand how business is running in these countries. If you see our website right now, the Colombian and the Mexican one, it's the same look and feel as, as the UK and USA and, and Canada, but we have a different message. Yes? The message that we're bringing to Mexico and Colombia right now uh, is completely different. Be aware of, of assumptions. People think that because bringing your product into Latin America, you need to bring your price lower. Wrong. We didn't do that. We sell the same price as the US and Canada, and we're not giving discounts. People if, is willing to pay because we, under, we, we explain them the value proposition of our product. We explain them why we're going to help their business <clears throat> to grow. We sit with them. We connect. We uh, become part of the community, and this is super important. As a result of that, now 10% of the sales monthly are coming from Mexico and Colombia. Find the right partners. In the past, when someone asked me, who is your partner in Mexico and Colombia? Oh, Apple. Everyone knows Apple, right? But now, when I say who is my partner, I said this restaurant, this restaurant, and this restaurant is my partner. 
it completely changed the game. You need a partner that not only will help you to sell, but will help you to understand the landscape. This is super important also. I remember last year when was the earthquake in Mexico, I was like calling, of course, all my team and partners. But because I'm here, I didn't understand what was going on in Mexico. Like, when is business going to start running again? Two days, five days, five months, I don't know. I'm, I'm based in Canada. So I rely on my partners. They tell me everything that what's going on in the country. We're coming with, a, we're, there is a presidential election now in Mexico. <coughs> is people scared? Is people going to stop investing? What's going on? I'm in Canada. So it's really important to rely on, on your on your partners, yes? And the most important part is you know your product, but they know the landscape. So they, will need, they need to help you to bring the product properly, right? And what is looking ahead for us? Again, seek for, look, for, seek for mutual beneficial, yes? You need a partner that will help you to sell, but they also will open you different channels. They will explain you the landscape. They will help you to grow. Everyone will agree on this one. Face to face, it's a must. In Latin America, people like to see your face. People like to talk to you, see you. In Argentina, invite you a coffee. In Mexico, tequila. And the word of mouth is also super important. If you have a happy customer, that customer will help you to grow your business. We have Halo customers, customers that have white glove treatment. Because when I see what a restaurant, who is using your solution? Oh, Johnny restaurant. Whoa. It's amazing. One thing that we learn is don't scale too fast. In our strategy is win, conquer, and move. We started in the DF, and only in the DF. And now we are in whole Mexico. Yes? And the most important part is prioritize your customer. Again, the one who's going to help you to grow your business in Latin America is your own customers. These are the ones that are going to promote your solution, the one who's going to invite you for tequila, the one who's going to talk to the restaurant owners and help you to grow your business. So one of the most important things that I, I, I want to close before if anyone has any question. In our case, we discovered there is no international competitor looking at Latin America right now. Our competitors are only local point of sales. So I, I've been listening to all the speakers today, and Latin America is a huge opportunity for companies because they like new technology, and they're willing to pay for it. Thank you.